In today's video, I'm going to show you how to group cells in Google Sheets. So let's say you want to group some cells together because they belong to the same category. Like for example, right here, we have our class level, different levels, but a lot of them belong to the same one. So let's say we want to group all the freshmen together. Here's how to do it. So we're going to start with our rows. Select the rows that you want to group. Select all the freshmen right here. Then go to your keyboard and press the keys, Alt, Shift, and right arrow key. Once you've done that, you have an indicator on the left that will tell you that these cells have already been grouped. So if we click on this button right here, it will collapse your group cells, but if we click on it again, it will expand. If you right click on this button, you have more choices where you can collapse, remove, expand, collapse all row groups, or move this button to the bottom. So let's collapse that group and try it again with our juniors. So again, select the rows for your junior. Another way to group yourselves would be to go to view, select group right here, and you have group rows 20 to 25 with again the same keyboard shortcut that we just did. So if you click on that, you've grouped all the junior cells. So if you click on this again, you will collapse it and then click one more time to expand. Now we can also do this with our columns. Let's say we want to group our major and extracurricular activity. We can do that by again just selecting your columns, go to your keyboard and press the keys Alt Shift and right arrow key. And there you have it, you have just grouped together columns D and E with the same button where you can collapse and expand. Now if you want to remove this group, all you have to do is to right click on this and select remove group. And there you have it. So that's how easy it is to group cells in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.